This season of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Hawaiian Electric. Hey, how's it going? You got Lanai with another edition of Cooking Hawaiian Style presented by Hawaiian Electric. We've got a great show for you today. We're going to learn about the ahupua and we're going to learn about fish ponds. We've got a great guest going to make some great Hawaiian food. So let's get cooking. When you live in on the island, such a diverse Hawaii. When you taste it, all the flavors from the mountain to the sea, we're cooking Hawaiian style. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the kitchen, Kanaloa Bishop. How you, brother? Good. Thanks for making it. Yeah, mahalo. I have so many questions about the Heia fish pond. How long have you been there? Uh, I think maybe four years now. Yeah? Yeah. Are you an expert on the pond? Not at all. <laughs> you learning every day, Hopefully. huh? Hopefully. Yeah. yeah, well, you know a lot. I know you know a lot. Uh, Can you tell everybody, just real quick, uh, if they never heard of a fish pond, what is it? So a fish pond is a man-made structure, usually compro comprised of fresh water and salt water. Brackish water, uh -huh. yeah. Um, and it essentially grows algae, grows yeah. the limu, and then the fish find their way into the fish pond and nice it's, and happy. It's brilliant plumbing, fishing, all together technology. Uh, Engineering Before at its computers, finest. yeah. Uh, it's an amazing thing. We'll talk more about that. What are you going to make today? So we're going to steam this papillo. This is, uh, this is gold, by the way. Really? Yeah, not everybody gets a chance to eat really? papillo. Wow. Well, you do because you're on the fish pond. Well, thank you. <laughs> Every time you go to a fish market, it's gone, you know? Okay. Yeah. All right. So is this from the fish this pond? This came out of the fish pond last night. What kind of fish are in the pond? Uh, we have mullet, ava, papillo, uh -huh. barracudas, got some tilapias, yeah. some invasives. All right, you're going to clean this for us, right? First. I am. All right, go ahead. Yeah. What do you need to do? So usually you start by scaling it. Okay. You can get a fancy scaler or a knife will work. And you just kind of go towards the head. All right. And that takes all the scales off. Papillo is an awesome fish. Uh, I even like eating it raw. Yeah, know? yeah, definitely. You, I mean, you cook it, you're going to steam it today. You're what do you it. do on the pond? Um, so I'm with the education Okay. arm of the fish pond. All right. Yeah. And uh, you guys got a lot of uh, uh, school kids and stuff that come and learn about the pond weekly, don't you? Every day. Yeah. yeah. How big is the, is, is the fish pond? Uh, the fish pond's 88 acres. That's a big one. It's pretty big. Yes. How yeah. many do we have on the island of Oahu? Good question. Um, traditionally, I think there was just under 100 okay. on Oahu. Yes. Maybe 90 something. But this is one of the biggest ones. This is one of the largest ones, yeah. yeah. You're just taking off. Uh, so these are the... little, they're called scutes. Okay. And they're hard scales. Yes. We don't want to eat that. Right. Just kind of one of the part of the fin. Cut them off. Yes. Yeah. Then we're gonna go to gutting. Okay. A lot of people don't know how to clean a fish these days because we go to the store and of course we buy it already made. So you wanna go down by the belly first? Yeah, so you start with the anal pore, uh -huh. I believe, yeah. And then you cut towards the towards the head. Be sure not to cut your hand. Now isn't this fish pond almost 900 years old? Yeah, it's 800 years old. Yes. Well, we've been saying that for a bunch of years yeah, now. Yeah, so I always say almost 900 years yeah, old. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. You know, it's on the backside of the island of Oahu. If you haven't been to Hawaii, it's something you have to witness. It's, it's history, you know. It's a big part of our history and who we are uh, as, and you know, our culture and everything else. It provided food for us. I, call it, I tell everybody it's a Hawaiian refrigerator. That's exactly correct. They're amazing. All right. So we're just opening so we that up. So we made the cut, yeah. Okay. We're gonna get up in this belly here. And we're gonna take out all the insides. Yeah. I got this bowl of water for you here. You all can the put good every, stuff. Put everything in there. All right. Mm. And nobody really likes to, nobody likes to do this part, you know? Yeah, this was, you yeah. know. We can, we can put this in the trash here and then you all can right. um, why rinse out the fish there in the inside of the, the bowl. Sounds good. And we got some uh, water steaming in a pot. Or in the pan here, you got a flat pan, right? Mm -hmm. You can go and put it right here. There you go. Boom. Give my hands a rinse. Go ahead. So the, the fish pond, how many gates are there? Oh, good question. Maka, what do you call it? Makaha? Makaha, yeah. Makaha, yeah. So there's seven. All right, seven. Seven, okay. Okay. yeah. 
There's All right, go ahead and let's let's finish this up so we can get that in the pan. Okay, sounds good. So we're gonna give this guy a rinse. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's Clean pretty out much the inside, it. Yeah. yeah. Then you want to rinse it nicely. Take Everything else we're gonna eat. That's, that's pretty much. <laughs> that's right. All right. Give it a nice little clean. You, you cook a lot? Uh, I try to. Yeah. Yeah. I like to eat. So. Yes, of course. Yeah, we all so like to eat, cook. right? All right. So you're just gonna rinse that out. Yeah. You get and then are you gonna uh, season that at all? A little bit. Okay. Real simple. So he's nice and clean. There you go. We're gonna score him so that okay. when we put him in the steamer, it goes a little quicker. Let's give this nice knife a little. All right. So you score. We're just gonna cut some, some, uh, yeah, some edges in it like that. Exactly. Right, like that. Boom. So it gets cooked in, inside and out Boom. evenly. Yep. All right. Get this guy over here. Okay. All right. We got about thirty seconds, so we're gonna get this in the pan. One, two, three. There we go. Then you go with the salt. Put some Hawaiian salt on top. One, Do the other side. Two. Very good. Bang. Right, I'm gonna help you get this pan right. up. And we just got some tea leaf on the bottom there, right? Tea leaf, yep. Get them in there. All right, and then we're gonna cover this. Get, get his tail Tuck that bugger in there, tuck that bugger in there. All there right. we go. Boom, boom. All right, and that's it. We got some water on the bottom of the pan. The tea is just sitting on top of the tea leaf. Yep. When we come back, we're gonna finish this up. Don't go anywhere. It's Kanaloa uh, from the Heia Fish Pond hanging out with us today on Cooking Hawaiian Style presented by Hawaiian Electric. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style presented by Hawaiian Electric. Kanaloa, you are gonna make next? Uh, Lapchong someone crab stuffing. I love this. Yeah, Lapchong we'll was introduced to us by the Chinese. It was, this is what Lapchong looks like. That's the guy. All right, we're gonna chop that up. Yep. And the, and the uh, Samoan crab, where's that from? This is from the fish pond. Awesome. Me and my brother went with the scoop nets the other night. Yeah. Scoop them up with his kids. They is a there blast. a lot in the pond? I have a feeling there's a lot. I yeah. see, I've seen some big ones there. There's some big ones. Yeah. yeah. Is it the only type of crab that's in there? We have some native crabs and some other invasive crabs, uh -huh. introduced crabs, yeah. So I, we were talking earlier, uh, we got the fish inside of that pan. It's going to steam for how long? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. We just wrapped it with foil and made it real tight. And so we're just going to let that go as we do this. We were talking earlier about the makaha, the gates. Yes. And there, now, how many gates are there? So there's seven individual makaha. Okay. Yeah. And they're all different sizes, correct? They're all different sizes. Some of them face the ocean. Four of them open to the ocean. Uh -huh. And three of them open to the stream. So the concept is the limu that's growing inside of the fish pond, the fish smell it, they swim in the gate, close the gate, Hawaiian refrigerator. Pretty much. S right? Well, the actually the baby fish come through the gate. Uh -huh. And then they've kind of come into a buffet. Okay. A limu buffet. A limo buffet. Yeah, and then they eat up. How many different types of limo are in there? Uh, it's hard to say. There's all different yeah, types, hard different to types say. though, right? Yes. Yeah. We have one that's introduced that I'll be making the salad with. Okay. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. Yep. And the, and the crab. Oh, yeah. I know what I wanted to ask you because it's always been a question asked to me. Who gets to fish in the pond? Ah. Uh, <laughs> right? Yeah. If you well, work actually, on the pond, right? We have La Holo Holo, okay. where once a month, during right. the summer months, we open it up to the public. And the community can go and help on a weekly basis, because it's a lot of main maintenance, That's right. right? So twice a, twice a month, we have our community work days. Okay. And, and every, anyone's welcome to come? Yeah, yes. pretty much. Okay. And uh, they just come and they work for a few hours, yeah. help us restore the fish pond. And then we feed them lunch, yes. and they go on their way. All right, so we're opening up this Samoan crab. Yeah, so Look at that, some nice crab. meat. Yeah. And you're just going to use a butter knife to dig all that out of there? Pretty much. We, uh, we, we started some already just because of the process of time, obviously. Yep. Um, we just wanted to show you what this looks like. Now, you boil the crab. Boil, steam the crab. You steamed it for yeah, how long? Maybe half an hour. Okay, we're going to put all of this on our website so you can understand exactly what to do. CookingHawaiianStyle.com. So All that's right. essentially that's how you take the meat out. Okay. Yeah. Tons of meat in I'll there. I'll take that piece yeah, if you're okay. going to we'll, get we'll, it out. We'll save it for you. <laughs> how often are you in the pond fishing? Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, once a month maybe. <laughs> once a month, yeah. Yeah. That's a lie. And, and, you, and, you, and you're cooking? Cooking. Yes. Every day? Every day you're sure. down there cooking? Sure. Now there's a lot of... Uh, a uh, mangrove, mangrove growing in the Heia Tons fish pond, and you guys have been cleaning that up lately a lot. There's a lot in there. Correct. And and how long is this pl planned as far as you guys um, going to be done with that? 
Uh, so it, it could take another five years, five maybe years. even a little longer, okay. to take the rest of the mangrove out and put the wall, restore right. the fish pond wall. Because the, uh, the Ahu Poa, is supposed to, the water is supposed to be flowing e from the mountain. It's supposed to be flowing it, right it under does, that bridge, It does, it right? does, but the mangrove Makes kinda, it muddy. Yeah, and yeah. impedes that flow. Okay, so you're gonna add the so crab now, in there. Yeah, crab's going right in. We got we gave the lap chong a moment. So lap chong is a Chinese sausage. It's very oily. We gotta thank the Chinese for introducing that to us yeah. on the plantation days. And this actually came from Chef Keloha. Okay. This recipe. Oh, nice. Yeah, Domingo. I'll take this from you. Kind of stole it. Thanks, Chef. <laughs> borrow. We borrowed. Yeah. So you get that heated up nicely. All right. And then you're just gonna what saute that till it gets all warmed up because it's pretty much cooked already. The the lap yeah. you want it crispy, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of yeah. crispy. And that's gonna go with our fish. That's right. Stuffing. Okay. Stuffing. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna help you with that. There you go. There we go. Now the fish pond, they don't use cement, nails. Mm -hmm. How was the fish pond made? The wall and everything. Um. So, it's a good question. We got these. We got three solid kuho kuapa guys. Okay. Kiahi, Ikaika, and Kinohi. Uh -huh. And they're really experts at stacking the wall. Yes. It's the uh, practice is called Uha Humu Pohaku. Okay, and you're making a rock wall uh, in a sense with coral, rock, and, yeah. and sand. You got correct? the pohaku and then the koa, the coral. Yes. Yeah. And it's a it's a real uh, it's a technique that takes some some time to learn how to stack the rocks. Gravity holds it all together yeah. and you lock each rock to itself. It's fascinating. If you haven't seen one when you come to Hawaii, you have to visit the fish pond. When we come back, we're going to finish up this dish and we're going to make something else, yeah? Yeah. All right, don't go anywhere. Cooking Hawaiian style presented by Hawaiian Electric. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style presented by Hawaiian Electric. We have Kanaloa here. We're finishing up this uh, dish for your puppy. Mm -hmm. How much you? I go help for you. It. Half? Half, oh? half. All right. Putting some mayo in there. And this is going to be the stuffing for the papillo that we have steaming that should be done in about five minutes because you're going to steam that for about 20 minutes, yep, correct? Yeah, 20 minutes. And all we did was clean out the cavity, add a little Hawaiian salt, put it on top of some tea leaf, wrapped it in foil, and that's going. All right? And, and that's pretty much it for that dish, right? For this guy right here? Yes. Yeah, pretty much. We'll stir okay. it around, let it get hot. What's your next dish you're going to make? I've Wait, what is this called, by the way? You have a name for this yet? Yeah, uh, Lap Chong Samoan Crab Stuffing. Whose recipe was this? Keoloha Domingo. This is the Keoloha Domingo dish. Yeah. Pretty epic, <laughs> Chinese All right, let's, and Hawaiian. Let's move this uh, big pot over here. All right. And then we'll get uh, what's started next. So we have some, are you gonna, uh, the limu? Is that what you need next? Exactly. What kind of limu is this? So this is the fish, this came out of the fish pond. This is Gracilaria salicornia. Wow. Yeah, big, Good for big you, name, brother. I don't know, we'll yes. see. Look at this, this I is what it so. looks like. It's, uh, it's, it's very, almost like twigs, the texture of it. Pretty and, hardy. And you're gonna blanch it? We're gonna blanch it. Okay. Give it a rip, uh, quick pick through. All right, you're just pulling off anything that yeah, doesn't look Something that good. we might not wanna eat. The dark spots, maybe? Yeah. Like, okay. It's been washed, but you wanna just always double check. Now, can you only get this here in Hawaii? Oh, uh, actually, know? no. This is found other places. This was, was, in this the Pacific. was this it introduced? It definitely was introduced. Okay. Yeah. So we got a pot of boiling water going, yep. and we're gonna blanch this for a just quick kind, yeah? Yep, toss it right in. And I'm gonna give you one of these so you, when you're done. You're gonna do all of that? Yep, all of it. That sounds good. Boom. And it takes really quick. Yeah. One, come to about. I got some ice 50. water for you in a bowl here because when you're done with that, you want it to stop cooking, correct? That's right. What happens if you cook it too long? Does it get slimy? It turns into a jelly. Okay, so that's what we don't want. And the white colander, please. All right. Right? That's what we don't want. That's what we don't want. Okay. Hey, that's awesome. Here we go. See, I'm your sous chef. How long we do that? 10 seconds. Perfect, we're done. Comes nice and See, bright nice green. nice green. Boom. Beautiful color. Stop that from cooking. This is a salad, now, is this your recipe? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah? I think my dad. That's Pretty the way simple. we do it. That's the yeah, way we do right. it. We keep passing it on right to the yeah, next generation. Really you know, my grandmother used to have limu in yeah. her sink all the time. My grandmother did too. Yeah. She loved limu. We ate a lot of it. Yeah, yeah awesome, so, you know, it's, a, it's very healthy it's too, you but. know, it's very healthy. All right. One more time. That can go right on the chopping board. Okay. You're going to chop this, dice this up? Yeah. All right. Let me just check this one time. Here you go. All right. What's next? So we're going to rough chop this. Okay. Here, I got you a knife right here. You're awesome. 
local guys, we like to use the word rough. Rough yeah, take, rough chop, rough, chop, <laughs> rough neck. <laughs> that's it. All right, that's it. Right in that bowl. We're gonna use this one here? Sure. Okay. And this is a salad. Oh, I cannot wait to eat this. What are you putting in the salad? Tomato, onion, maybe some chili pepper if you want, okay. and then show you vinegar and some water. All right, go ahead and chop those up. What is the, what's the type of rock do you know that they use on the fish pond? Is it um, a particular rock? Well, we call it pohaku. Yeah. If you go to buy it, they call it moss rock. Moss rock. Moss rock. Okay. Yeah. Because that moss rock or that pohaku is not from where it's at. You had to bring it from somewhere. Yeah, from we the actually, mountain, right? we buy the, the rock. Day. Okay. And it, I think it comes from Wainai, All right. I believe. Yeah. Because you can't just use any particular rock. Um, I you guess. You use any kind. Whatever you have. Yeah. But yeah, if, you, if you're particular, we, we like the moss rocks. Yeah. Yeah, they stack well. And then inside, you're filling it with coral and sand? Pretty much, right. yeah. Coral is kind of like the backfill. Okay. Yeah, holds, holds the structure together. Yeah, I think it's pretty amazing. You know, there's no cement, there's no nails, you know. And you guys are teaching the, the keiki, the young ge next generation, how to build this. That's this, the right? deal. Yeah. That's the deal. All right, so you got tomato on. You've got about 30 seconds to finish this up. So tomato. Tomatoes. I'll put this right here for you. What else next? And then you get this Onion. guy. All right, and then what do you have here? Is this going all in here? Yep. What is this? Show, uh, vinegar. Vinegar, the whole thing? Yep. All right, we'll do vinegar. And then show you. And then what's next? And a little bit of water. A little bit of water? Yeah. And we're gonna put the whole recipe on the website. We'll put the onions in there. in there. And then we're Boom. just gonna toss this, right? Toss it. All right, and that's it. That's it. This is how my grandmother used to make it too, I tell you. It must be related. All right, <laughs> when we come back, we're gonna check on that papillo. We're gonna make one more dish for you. Uh, don't go anywhere, it's Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Hawaiian Electric. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Hawaiian Electric. What is our next dish we're gonna make here? Steamed kalo. All right, I love kalo. Yeah, me Tell too. us a little bit about this kalo that, you, that the you're recipe? cleaning. Uh, well, it's really, the recipe starts at the farm. Yeah. Yeah, with a lot of love. Yes. Aloha, plant the taro. Kalo, of course, is a big part of who we are. This is what the plant looks like. We, uh, we eat the, the leaves, the stem, and this is the root that's actually in the pot that he's cleaning here. We yeah. have, how many, uh, over 100 different strands of taro now? Uh, I think there was is around 80. Right? 80? 80 traditionally, yeah. Okay, we used to have a lot. The Hawaiian right? kalos, yeah. Very All good. right, so you're just going to clean that out. The, the uh, outside of it, you steamed this already. Yep. And then you took it out of the steamer. Yep. This is what it looks like when it's done. And then you're just cleaning the outside of it, all the extra here. Yep. And then you're gonna cut this up. What are you making? Pieces. Just just slicing pieces That's up it. for us. Yeah. And you have to cook this good. You have to steam it good or else your throat will get itchy. That's right. All right. That guy's good. How long did you steam it for? So I guess it depends on the size too, right? There you go. And then we put the salad there. Okay. So you know, you say three hours about. Okay. Depending how strong your pressure cooker is. Or the pressure cooker <laughs> is half an hour. All right. Yeah. So there's our kalo with our salad. Awesome. That looks really good, bro. And then we're going to move to this fish okay. over here. Okay. I'll, I'll have this for you. Put this guy on this side. We got that fish. It was in there for about 20 minutes. Look at that. That's right. The papillo. And we're ready for it. Should I put this right here? Or you want to bring the whole thing right up? Right there, please. Okay. There you go. We got some green onion for. All right. Look good. You just let me know if you need some help. All right. Yeah. I can help you here. We could probably try use to some get help. the whole thing on, on there. I'm gonna pull the whole thing. Oh, that's not gonna work. All right. There you there go. There we go. Ah, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Boom. There we go. John, don't burn yourself. Just take these two out. Good job. And there's the papillo. You got a little bit of chili water. Oh my gosh, he lost his tail. <laughs> Let's back him up a little bit. Mm. Oh, that looks amazing. Good job. All that juice in there is good too. And then this guy. Now that's the stuffing. Yeah. And you're going to eat that with together. We got the, the, we uh, so. the crab in there, the, the Samoan crab. You fried it up with some lap chong and we put mayo on there and just kind of put and it all right together. There. So I, you know what's so cool about Hawaiian food? So simple, 
but it's a it's a it's work it's a process that you got to do you exactly know? but we don't bury it or drown it in everything yeah where's the f you're hungry let's get to it yeah I'm <laughs> here you Please. go all right all right Thank you. there you go so if somebody wants to go check out the fish pond yeah uh, check out our website yeah what's the website okay yeah give Let us me a try ring some of this and then when, what days do you guys usually have the public that can come and check it out Monday through Friday, and Saturdays is our work day. During the week, I see a lot of school kids there. Mm. Oh, that's winter. You let that marinate a, just a little bit yeah, longer. Yeah, go overnight is good. Yeah. Good job, man. Ah. We're going to put all the recipe on our website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. And uh, i got to try a piece of your kalo. Real kalo, starchy. Yeah, kalo is just like our, you would eat rice or bread, you know, taro, kalo. Kalo is the Hawaiian name for it, and that's why we eat so much of it. It's very healthy for you. A lot of nutrients, uh, lots of fiber. Mm -hmm. um, just, just an amazing superfood. And you're now starting to see it popping up all over the world, I think. You can now order uh, Kalo online. You can order it pounded, or you can order it just like that. Uh, a lot of different places are doing it. Oh, no. Winner. <laughs> Thank you for, for joining us, ma'am. You're welcome. Um, thank you for teaching us about the fish pond. If you get a chance and you come to Hawaii, check it out. It's the Heia Fish Pond. It's on the backside of Oahu. Um, it's part of history and it's part of our culture. Check out our website for all the ingredients for these recipes, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. And we'll see you next time. And uh, mahalo uh, to Hawaiian Electric and mahalo to you for watching. Good job, Bara. Thank you. This season of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Hawaiian Electric and the Kathy Ireland Estate. Thank you.